Well, the video here is about uh, how this vehicle is uh, held up throughout the three years that uh, it's seen uh, the three years it's ever been at the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, I figured the tires have been replaced on her some time back. Thirty four thousand three hundred thirty four miles. This is all everything's held up like how it's how it's done for how it's treated everybody. They figured the uh mats it that worked well. But the heated seats had worked very well like say oh <laughs> yeah, them seats too far up. Yeah, fade away, it always worked well. I think it seats it was always a good for like say <laughs> very cold regions. They done very well. Hmm. Look at that. <laughs> Goddamn clucky. Goddamn chicken in the video. I figured dual zone climate control is always a good idea. Yeah, I figured a hands free system for the cell phones worked perfectly. <coughs> I figured you drive on the road when it's cold. I figured you start this up when it's cold and you start driving on the road, engine warms up very quickly. <coughs> But even to be fair, I probably have all the vehicles today. The automatic headlight feature always worked well. Maybe the power window is always good anyway. That needs to be that needs to be fucking cleaned off. And the key of sentry on the door. That feature you probably find on Fords. <coughs> that key of sentry feature is very good in case you accidentally lock your keys in there. All you just need to do is know the code. Yeah, I figured the uh, that key of sentry feature was used by Ford for years. I pretty had good stopping power, very good in the snow. The feature was good. One feature was very good was that feature there. Pretty good for say putting in various devices <laughs> or 10 volts. That's a very good feature there. I show the LED lighting and everything. And letting the clarity control being electronic, but everything was all easy to read out. Especially on the radio. And the cupboard and all the doors was always a good necessity. Especially ones in the front doors. Cupboards in the front doors, I managed to fit, say, and the backup cam was always a good feature, too. So you can get a better chance of, say, even if it's 12 volt out back here, we never used it, but nobody ever used it. Especially had a good spare tire on it. Which, which did get used once. 
I have everything there. Like the spare tire, that got used. <laughs> yeah, it did get used, for real. They say coming back from some gathering, whatever, and the next thing find out. And before it before came back to the house, tire pressure light came on. It turns out one of the front tires got punctured. But it did get fixed. But the tires have since been replaced. And the odometer ring went probably been higher. If it wasn't for us two deer it got fucking hit. <laughs> and the cap was fuel filling was probably made feeling made made playing get made made the uh, trips to the gas station a little bit easier. Because it just made it easier. Yeah, probably the fuse panel. But the fun part about it is that it uses the same washer fluid uh, tank in the front. Once they find the hood. Yeah, the backup gun was always a good necessity. Good necessity on these vehicles. <clears throat> they dim the lights on the uh, instrument, on the gauges and everything here. But that hasn't been used in. And the lights was always on that automatic feature. Yeah, the lights do go off. It's a hundred ways on this one. Fucking leaves off there. So there's goddamn leaves off in here. Yeah, I figured this has uh, worked well. Huh. There's fucking leaves off of here. Safety hazards. Shit. Even despite that, it's definitely helped for what it uh, is done anyway. Engine never overheated. Which is good. And the headlights. <laughs> Daytime lights are definitely good in the summertime. Definitely good anyway. Oh, they definitely do do have a benefit in say zero visibility conditions. Yeah, for your brakes it worked well. All disc in the bell. Yeah, I figure since it'll be like a couple weeks before this uh, 
lease runs out. It's less than a month anyway, so. I'd say for everything it's done, it's pretty much like say held up very well. But it made better sense to simply not keep this uh goddamn fucking travel trailer in the driveway. That's a stupid fucking that's a stupid place to put it anyway. And leave it. Stupid fucking place to leave it. I used to think a lot of trees near goddamn driveways. I personally think if anybody thinks it's good to live out in the country, I personally think anybody thinks so. Live out in the country is a good idea. Well, I just just fucking put my finger in certain areas and tell them, well, talk to the fucking manager, motherfucker. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah, it's definitely held up. What definitely done well anyway. Started anybody well. Served long, served well for three, let's say three years. Served by long, served by well. Besides the, uh, besides the encounter, besides the encounter with the two deer, definitely held up better than anything that, uh, Definitely held up better anyway. And the all-wheel drive is definitely good in the snow anyway. That's what the that's what the market's been buying anyway. Oh well.